What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 7th Objective-C tutorial and what I'm going to be teaching you guys in this tutorial is a couple things. First, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create multiple objects from the same class and also a nice little shortcut whenever we create our objects that's going to save you a bunch of time in the future. So first of all, let's get to the shortcut. You see that whenever we created an object in the first tutorial we created an object right here and then we allocated memory for it and then we initialized it which meant get it ready for use but you can actually do all of this in one line and that's what was going on up here when we created this pool object so let's go ahead and instead of in the declaration line just ending it right there set this equal to and put two brackets one inside another and then inside the innermost bracket per person Alec, and as you can see that takes care of this line right here so go ahead and delete that and now on the outermost bracket go ahead and put in it and this initializes the object so it's ready for use and that takes care of this line right here so that's a nice little shortcut and that's how I'm going to be creating my objects from now and in the future so if you guys see this that's what's going on and again like I said that's what was going on up here as well you can split this into three lines but since you allocate and initialize objects so often together that's why they gave you guys this nice little shorthand to use so now what I want to talk to you guys about is creating another object using this same um, interface and implementation the cool thing about creating objects is every time you want to create a new object say I want to create a new person named Sandy you don't have to create a whole new interface and implementation this interface and implementation or the class is pretty much a blueprint for all objects so anytime you want to create a new person you pretty much don't have to type anything new except the object you want to create so I know it might sound confusing so let me just demonstrate go ahead and copy this because I'm too lazy to type it all out again and paste it and I'm gonna name my new object Sandy because we already have a guy might as well have a girl so now we created a new object and it's called Sandy so instead of having my methods Bucky's let's go ahead and give her a whole new set of methods and variables so copy this and paste it right below so go ahead and put Sandy and set her age to 68 and put Sandy and set her weight to let's see 970 and then go print it out for her and then release her memory so let's go ahead and build this and see if it runs first of all before I continue it says succeeded run console so it says here's Bucky object I'm 23 years old and weigh 350 pounds and here's the object for Sandy I'm 68 years old and weigh 970 pounds so the cool thing about this is anytime you want to create a new object you don't have to type everything over again you can just use the same blueprint or classification that you did in the other object and another thing I want to point out is that every time you create an object it has its own set of variables so for example Sandy has her own age her and Bucky don't share an age Bucky has his own weight and that only belongs to him if you want to give Sandy a weight you need to call her set weight method so that's pretty much the basics of how to create multiple objects or in this case multiple people using the same using the same person class so in the next tutorial I don't know what I'm gonna be talking about but I assure you it's gonna be sweet so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial